Welcome back to the Waynesburg Effect. Joining us now is Judge Maria McLaughlin, who is currently serving as a judge in the Pennsylvania Superior Court. She is a Democratic candidate for the Pennsylvania Supreme Court in the municipal election this Tuesday. Judge McLaughlin, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. You've had a career in law that spans 30 years or so, and your website mentions some of your volunteer work outside the courts in the community. How have those life experiences shaped you as a candidate, and why do you think that you're the right candidate for the job? Well, uh, some of those community groups uh, that have shaped me have shaped me because being a single mom, I was part of the community. My kids were part of the community. And one of the great groups was called Do the Right Thing, which was a youth anti-violence program. And so it was a wonderful program. It was right, W-R-I-T-E, not right as you think it. Um, and it was an essay contest, not, not about who wrote the best essay. It was about who had the best message about violence and how violence affected their lives and what we could do as judges uh, in the community to make that better. So that was one really important group, but so many that I volunteered for. And I like to say that I lead by example. I don't just take part in these groups uh, when I am ca a candidate for office. I think it's important for the community to be able to see the judges out there, not just in the courtroom. You're running for the seat in the Pennsylvania Supreme Court, the highest court in the state. How can Pennsylvanians expect you to rule if you get elected? Uh, they can expect me to rule with integrity. Um, I have run my campaign, a clean, ethical, positive campaign with integrity, and they can expect me to rule just with that, with those qualities in mind. You know, I, I abide by the Constitution, and that's how I've always ruled. Uh, when I was a trial judge, never had a decision overturned. So I like to think I did a decent job doing that. I sat in one of the largest judicial districts in our Commonwealth and never had a decision overturned in six years. So that's a big deal. And I'm proud of that record. Sure. Just as a follow-up question, when we in interviewed Kevin Brobson, he said that he would not legislate from the bench. You echoed that sentiment during a forum hosted by the Free Library of Philadelphia and the group Pennsylvanians for Modern Courts. What does that mean to you personally? And what does it mean as you campaign for the seat? Um, it doesn't mean anything as I campaign for the seat. I campaign for the seat positively and with the oath that I took, not to negative campaign, not to undermine someone else's decisions. Um, that's how I run my campaign. But not legislating from the bench is simple. There are different branches of government for a reason. The judiciary is not there to make the laws. In fact, I've said that in one of my cases just not so long ago, that the judge was wrong because they legislated from the bench. So um, I know they're like code words that a lot of one party likes to use. Um, the only problem is it certainly doesn't describe me. Sure. So maybe more of a personal question. What made you personally decide to run for this seat? Um, for me, it was always to do better. Um, for me, that's the only reason I ever ran for office in the first place uh, was because I knew that I could do better. And the higher up that you get to go and you have the privilege of serving, it's you get to um, do even better. And so um, it's a natural progression for me. I'm the only one that was a prosecutor in this race. I'm the only one that was a judge of the Court of Common Pleas, a trial judge. And now I'm a judge on the busiest appellate court in the nation. So it was also a natural progression to the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. And then just kind of going from that, what are some issues that you're concerned about as you run for the seat? Um, issues of integrity, um, especially going through this election in particular. Uh, boy, I, I know that we need to uh, make sure that ethics are at the forefront of everything, especially the judiciary. Politics should be nowhere in the court, nowhere. And, and I think everyone knows, the citizens of Philadelphia after this election, um, that justice should never come before politics. And I have proven that I will never do that. And so I think that's really important. And we have one more, we have time for one more question before we close. We're just a few days away from the election. If there's a voter here in Greene County that's currently undecided about how they're gonna vote, what's your best case, the way, best way to pre present your case for them to vote for you? Well, I think that um, you should not consider someone's party when thinking about who to elect for a judge. Um, if you look at any of my decisions, there is no way that you will ever be able to tell my party affiliation um, by the way that I rule. I think that you should look at the person 
And the most important thing that you should look at is how this campaign was run. This personal campaign, look at myself and look at my opponent. And after those looks and looking at how the campaign was run over the last year, decide who do you want to represent you on our state's highest court? And I think the answer will be clear. Well, that's all the time we have today. Judge McLaughlin, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it and best of luck on this Tuesday. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time and, and an interest in this race. Yes, ma'am. Stay tuned for the for WCTV's continued coverage of the municipal election after the break.